Okay, just wanted to show you, I got these super cute little cake pans to make these, uh, make a five layer cake. And I'm going to use a uh, coconut cake batter which I made and oh I wish you were here and you could smell this this is so delicious oh my god it smells so good it smells just like coconut and I know you can't quite see on camera don't think you can but I also put a cup of fresh coconut in it so I'm gonna fill each one of these pans full, maybe about not quite full because I don't want to over fill them because then they'll be making a mess in the oven. But I'm going to eyeball it, which I know is really bad. But I'll guess this is about a cup of cake batter in each pan. Put that in there. And oh, it looks like we're going to have some left over. So now maybe because I put the extra coconut in. Because that's looking like that's way too much in that one pan. So, it could be because I put in an extra coconut, and I don't want these to be too high, so I'm going to take some off. I know I should measure and make it more even, um, but you know, you guys know me. Okay, so I'm just going to even that out a little bit, and I've got some left over, so I'll probably just make some jumbo cupcakes with it. You know, I love making cupcakes. So once again, I'm just going to take a little bit of this one out and we'll even that back up because you want it to still rise and be nice and even. So as you can see, I'm just kind of smoothing it out in each of the pans. Now these pans, it said you only needed one uh, box of cake mix. And that's what I did. But as you can see, it's looking like it's more than I should put in these pans. I hate overfilling pans. And then they make a mess in the bottom of the oven. So I want to be careful with that. Maybe what I'll do next time is actually measure. Because it's probably, and I'm not sure, so don't quote me on this. Maybe it's about a cup of cake batter per pan okay so I think that looks good so if you want to make a rainbow type cake you could basically have just used food coloring and decorated each of these um, separately and so you'd have a different color but I'm just gonna go with what we've got here I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven cook them for a few minutes bake them for a few minutes and then we'll take it from there once again this is a coconut cake these are the little five uh, the little it comes in a set of five uh, cake pans, and as you can see, they're not really gigantic. Uh, the regular size cake pans, these are much smaller. Um, so let's go ahead and get these in the oven. Amazing, these pans work so really well. I did not grease or flour or oil these pans at all and as you can see the cakes come out perfectly okay okay so i'm gonna go ahead and gonna put some frosting I'm gonna go ahead and put frosting all on this one oops Frosting's a little cold. I had it in the refrigerator, but want to go ahead and get that all on there, all around the edges. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of the other ones out of the pan. I'm uh, just going to give it a little encouragement to come right on out. Then I'm going to go ahead and just press that down. Don't worry, my hands are clean. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put another layer of icing on there. So the next cake that I put on top will stick really nicely. And I'm so sorry I didn't put this on a different plate cake pan, a different plate, but that's okay. But we just wanna 
get all that icing on there. And this is that homemade um, buttercream icing frosting that I will put a recipe there for you. Okay, so we're going to go with the next layer. Oh, this is really, as they say, stacking up. So I think I'm going to go this way with the next layer. So it'll help it to stay nice and even. Remember, this is going to be a five layer coconut cake with chocolate buttercream frosting. And I might put some toasted coconut uh, flakes on it as well. And this cake, you're really going more for kind of the novelty of it. I know people like to do the rainbow cakes and I would have done a rainbow cake, but maybe on the next video. Oops, made a little mess there, but that's okay. Cause we want to go ahead and get layer number four on. Ooh, it's working out to be a pretty tall cake. So if I put this one on and then the other one on top, yeah, we're going to go like this. I'm just going to press it down a bit because we know we're still going to put one more on top. And I want to be able to put the one on top this way so it'll be nice and even across the top. Set that aside. Have some more frosting and I'm just kind of holding on to it gently just to keep it from sliding off even though I don't think that's going to really happen in this situation okay we got that icing on and now we're going to go ahead and put layer number five on. Now, I could have, if I wanted to make this more even and not have all this gaps right here, um, just cut them a little bit more, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and take some more frosting and put that on top. And then I'm just going to get that all on there. And I have these popsicle sticks. And I'm just going to run, run one right through the middle to keep it from shifting. And as you can see, this made it just to the bottom of the five layers. I'm going to go ahead and use two because I don't want my cake to be sliding around. Especially when I transport it um, tomorrow. So, just going to put more icing, more frosting on. More, more, more. And now I can hold it by these little tabs. And that is pretty much it. Now this cake, what it is lacking in uh, appearance right now, it's making up for in flavor. So, so I hope... Hopefully, as you can see, it turned out to be a really pretty um, one, two, three, four, five layer coconut cake with uh, homemade buttercream frosting and um, sprinkles of coconut. So it is delicious. Um, you end up with a really large slice of cake, but cake is good. So I hope you enjoy the day. I hope you enjoy my video and, and make sure you look for those little small pans. Um, they're really good. They're nonstick. I love them. I wish and I hope I can find some that are much larger. But once again, thanks for watching. And here is my cute, adorable five layer cake. Bye.